Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome, everybody, back to the podcast. Once again, I hope that uh, wherever you are in the world, that you're being creative, that you're uh, working on the projects that you know bring you joy, that uh, ignite that creative uh, uh, energy and drive um, that really like bring you to life. Uh, so today's episode is about endings. And the reason why I bring that up is because, well, as much as this is a celebration of actually reaching 100 episodes, which never in the world would I have ever thought that I would reach 100 episodes, uh, it seemed like the proper time to uh, bring the podcast to uh, an end. Uh, at least for now, because uh, I have really, um, you know, as much as I've enjoyed recording episodes every week and being showing up and being consistent, um, there's been a lot of other projects that I'm trying to get off the ground that I really, really want to work on. And those are, you know, th- things that I, I think I need to put more of my energy into. Uh, at this moment. Uh, so if you're new to the podcast, I'm sorry that it's ending <laughs> on this episode. Uh, but the reason why I started this in the first place was because, well, the entire world was in a global pandemic and all of us were inside uh, wondering, uh, dreading, um you know, just all types of emotions were going uh, through us as we were trying to figure out what the heck was going on and, um, you know, trying to just stay as safe as we could. Uh, So because of that, and I wasn't uh, the only one, like tons of people started podcasts. And, um, and so, you know, I, decided, uh, you know, after some encouragement uh, from from a friend of mine that I should start a podcast, I thought, you know, why not give it a try? It is it was a, uh, a prospect that I had thought of uh, pursuing a couple year, years earlier. Uh, and I just I am still a very shy person. But at the time, I was even more shy and, you know, had no idea uh, what to talk about, how to talk about it. And I am still learning those skills. You know, it, it's, um, it's, you know, one of those things where like, it sounds more elegant in my head when I'm, you know, thinking about certain subjects and, 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 and stuff like that. But that's the main reason why it, this whole thing got started in the first place. And the fact that, uh, you know, over the next couple of years, you know, we were still uh, in this thing, in this, you know, uh, crisis, in this pandemic. And um, and now, at least in the United States, it seems like we are um, starting to kind of mellow out in terms of the uh, severity of uh, the, the, you know, this, this virus. Uh, uh, so... Because of that, so many things are kind of coming back to normal, and which is a great thing. I think I think that's that's one of the um, uh, the weird uh, situations that, that we're in is that um, even though it, you know the it's out there, even though the virus is still out there, it's like it's not. It doesn't seem to be as yeah, uh, you know, as as deadly uh, at least from you know the reports that, that that I've seen and the fact that restrictions are are being pulled back and you know just everybody is is looking at this thing and and making the conclusion that you know we can you know live a more normal life and now that means that I can feel more comfortable about you know being on set uh taking on projects 
uh, really, you, you know, trying to get more projects off the ground. And it also allows me to learn more about my craft. And uh, that was part of what I have been thinking about for a couple months is that, you know, I, I need to do more of my craft. I need to focus more on on learning new skills, on on how to um, be a better artist, a, a better professional, and that is very important because if I'm claiming to have a podcast about filmmaking, like I should uh, have a you know an even better understanding about how films are put together. Uh, but the that brings uh, you know another part of this whole. Uh, uh, a decision is that uh, so much of of the landscape of film and television is so fragmented that uh, it becomes really kind of impossible to talk about any one thing without like I can't I can't really give the f- full extent of of my opinion on what is happening in the industry uh, because there's just, there's so much happening every single week and it's everything from, you know, just the, the decisions that the studios are making um, to, you know, what's happening on, on the kind of like cultural uh, like like level, like um, and how, you know, storytelling has, has shifted a lot over the years. And it's like, that I that there's a lot to kind of like follow at, at this moment, and you know, I just want to create films, and I, I've said that over and over again. Uh, I never really set out to have a podcast, although I have enjoyed my time, you know, uh, recording episodes and um, just being able to to bring something to you every week that maybe you could think about uh, or, you know, a, a kind of perspective that uh, that, that, that maybe, um, you know, wasn't out there uh, or that w- wasn't as, like, uh, like, like dominant. And I, I, I think that's been the thesis for this podcast all along is that it's, it's not that I'm trying to give this, like, textbook, um, you know, here's what is you know the here's how you do things kind of thing it was more from a my own experience from um what i've seen what i've noticed uh with with other filmmakers and you know just trying to approach it from my own perspective because that was the only way that i could uh you uh you know justify having the uh this podcast was to show it from you know my perspective essentially so that that's kind of like my mindset, uh, you, you, you know, up to this point, and you know, like I said, the 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 world seems to be co- you know the, like coming back to normal uh, in in a lot of ways, and it's uh, it's time uh, for me at least to 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 buckle down and to do more work um, yeah, on the creative side to um, you know kind of like in in a lot of ways just you know like like reset myself and say okay what are my goals again like what am i trying to accomplish as a filmmaker and how can i you know spend the time uh that you know that that i have to uh, uh to to accomplish those goals and you know it's as uh, as some of you know it's like it can be pretty tough being you know like like having a a, a family and trying to pursue, uh, you, you know, a, f- a film career, like it takes a lot of hours, and so the the hours that I'm spending to put together a podcast um, could be going towards like putting together a film or putting together a show, and um, that's the that's what I'm I'm seeking to do going forward, and. Not to say that uh, I'm going to stop the podcast altogether, because I I think there's going to be a time when I'm going to want to come back, and that will be the next hundred episodes uh, after I've gone out and and learned some more things, uh, got some more skills, um, you know, released some things out into the world and and really uh, experienced what it's like 
to be on the distribution side of things, um, you know, to actually have some so, some more stories to tell about, uh, you know, what it was like to make something. Um, because uh, what I uh, plan to do is to uh, release some, some episodes just about the making of my film, uh, Look Into the Fire. And um, it's still in post, but it's very, very close. Uh, for uh, like for those of you who are uh, yeah you know keeping count, uh, so that's that's what I I, I hope to uh, kind of have as a a separate um, yeah you know like part of uh, of of the podcast uh, as well is just to re- release some of those specialty episodes um, just on you know on the making of and and the things that. I feel that I, you know, I, I got right in a lot of the mistakes that I made uh, uh, along the way. And, you know, that that, that will be a part of this whole, you know, like podcast pursuit, even though it's not for from a, a, a week to week, uh, um, you know, schedule. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, if, if you guys have been, you know, tuning in, uh, from week to week, uh, I really appreciate um, that 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 you've taken a chance on me. That um, yeah, you know, you've you've listened for as long as you have. If if you've been listening for months or or years, I you know you are like you, you are the hero. <laughs> you, 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 like I I appreciate uh, uh, every single one of you who you know who have like put in the time, uh, 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 you know, to listen to. To me, talk about film and and my uh, my thoughts on on what's going on in film and 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 the different perspectives on uh, on how to make film. Um, because if there's anything I've learned over the years, it's that there's not really a right way to put together a film. Because every single time uh, you hear a behind the scenes story about a, a film and more more likely than not a classic film a film that lives for decades and decades and decades um is that the way that the movie was was made is was different from the way other movies were made and that's kind of like i guess the magic like 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 alchemy that that happens when you bring artists together and you know they say we're going we're going to make a film or you know, they're like a studio has a story, and they're like, "We're gonna put together a team, and we're gonna make a film." Um, it's it, it's just this magic that happens. It's it's this this uh, great uh, uh, experience, but it can also be very tough, and it can be grueling, and it can be you know soul crushing at, at times. And you know, maybe the thing you make doesn't actually like like, like do anything when you release it, but then over time somebody discovers it and loves it and shares it with other people and then it it has a new life and that is the 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 wonder i guess you could say of like creating something is that you know even if nobody gets it at you know at the time that you complete it and put it out into the world it doesn't mean that it's gone it doesn't mean that like nobody likes it it means that at that time at that moment you know, either the right people haven't seen it yet, or it's not, it's not the right time for it to actually be out into the world. But eventually somebody will discover it. Eventually somebody will love it. And eventually somebody will share it with somebody else. And, um, like fans will be created, uh, you know, like the, and it can be with like everything and anything. I, I am so amazed sometimes about, um, the things that have fans like the terrible movies and shows that have fans and not just fans fans who love it to death they just they love everything about it even if it's terrible and you know we need we need those those fans we need those people who you know are going to champion uh the good and the bad of what we create and you know that that's that's great that's fun that 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 is what you know uh what brings people together and and creates you 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 know a community uh you know of of people who love art regardless and so 
Yeah, I I just I I have to think that you know, no matter what you create or what I create, that eventually somebody's going to see it. Somebody's going to love it, and you're gonna have a fan who's good going to want to see more. And you know. I think that that's why I'm kind of like at this point where I'm like, I want to create more uh, so that I can, you know, put it more out into the world. So I, you know, can build, you know, build on my craft and, you know, hopefully by the time I'm like, you know, <laughs> an old, old man, I can look back and say, yeah, like I, I spent my time making films because that's what I set out to do and look at what you know look at everything that that i uh you know i was able to make and um and you know whether or not it's it's good or bad or whether or not it actually like you know is noticed by by anybody i may not you know be alive to see that i i may not you know be able to uh to to know if if anybody really loved what i made or not um but hopefully not. Hopefully I can I can you know hear feedback and hear people like loving the things that I make, um, you know. So it, it would it would be great. So uh, you know I I don't I don't want this to necessarily be all about the fact that you know th- this is the last episode. But I did want to talk about you know endings and you know there have been some very controversial. Uh, like like endings to to films. There's been controversial endings to uh, like like television shows, and I mean especially television shows. You still hear about like the last uh, like like the last episode of Seinfeld or the last uh, uh, episode uh, of The Sopranos, or you know like you st- we still are talking about the way these shows ended, uh, but you know we still talk about the endings of, of movies. You know like. Uh, like with with M Night um, uh, uh, Shyamalan, you know, like his twist endings, like we're still talking about them to this day, uh, and that's that's great, and that and that sometimes is, you know sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, and ending something is extremely hard because uh, you only have a certain amount of time to do it, and you know if you if you have you know, these characters that need to have a proper send off, that can be a tough thing to do. And, and it's, it's not always an easy thing to do. And that's, that's probably why many creators, uh, especially with, you know, with a TV show decide to do like, like a, a movie, uh, to, uh, you know, to kind of wrap things up even more or, um, tr- like, like try to bring back the series to kind of continue on the story because, people really love these characters and they want to see more of them and they don't want to see the like they don't want to see an ending they they don't want to see things ending because they want to continue they they want to see these characters like keep going and and have more adventures or have more drama or have whatever the story is and but eventually all things come to an end and that's just the way of life that's the way of all things there's a beginning and there's an end and that's that's just the way it is so all right guys speaking of endings i should probably end this uh uh, uh, uh episode um and um i don't know when i'm going to be back i don't know when i'm going to have another episode released uh but um i I hope it's you know sooner rather than later. Um, but I think I think I need to focus more on my craft so that I have more uh, to talk about and more experiences to to bring to you guys because like we're all learning from each other. We're all learning from uh, w- what we're doing, and it's it's a very collaborative and social uh, you, you know art form that we've all like grown up with and and loved and want to be a part of and want to pass on to the next generation and um yeah i i hope film lives on forever i hope television lives on forever because we need stories we need your story we need my story we just we need stories and we if we stop telling stories then it really is the end all right guys 
I will talk to you when I talk to you. If you'd like to connect with me, there is an email for the podcast. It's tentative.title.with.tim.podcast at gmail.com. There is also a Twitter account. Uh, the uh, handle is at title underscore Tim. Uh, there is also a Facebook page where you can uh, post uh, questions or you can um, connect with me there. Uh, thank you guys for listening. I'll talk to you on the next one. <laughs>